Oh, g'day scrappers, yeah, just going to melt up some uh, copper into ingots. I'm going to use some scrap copper that uh, you can get free from televisions. This is from the gorsing cables. So it's uh, most of it's, uh, you know, Milbury copper. So it's about the purest form of copper. And hopefully we can um, get a little bit more purity once we remove the impurities out of it after melting. Uh, we'll add a little bit of borax. So I'm just going to try my first uh, first batch of uh, melting, making my first ingot, and we'll see how we go. So I'm not sure how the first one's going to turn out. So uh, basically I've got the three kilo uh, crucible. So three kilos, when they say three kilos, it's rated as three kilos of gold. And so it's not gonna get nowhere near uh, three kilos of copper. So I'm gonna just uh, stuff, stuff as much as I can in there. Maybe put uh, some copper stackers from heat sinks, uh, add a bit of solid, I think a little bit of solid copper will just help the melt and I'm just going to stuff it in because without damaging the actual crucible because I, I want to get as much as I can in there to get a bit of weight and because it's wire you know it's got a lot of space a lot of air so I'm thinking as it melts down I'm going to uh, open a, open up the crucible and add a little bit more as I go, just to uh, try and uh, get a little bit bigger ingot. But um, I don't actually have a, a three kilo um, uh, mold. I'm not sure, I think this one was a uh, two kilo rated two kilo gold so I'm not going to be able to get the full amount anyway in there so I'm only trying to make smaller ingots I don't really want huge giant ingots because uh, this is basically for my own collection it's you know not not really to sell I just want to uh, turn this wire into uh, ingots just so I can stack it and Keep it for uh, just for fun. It's not really for profit or anything like that. Uh, as you know, all aware, it's just as easy to uh, sell your copper as it is, and uh, probably even easier because some yards won't buy copper once it's melted down because they don't know what's in it. But um, it's pretty common sense, really, and a lot of yards have metal testers anyway. And, uh, you know, all they need to do really is just get a grinder and grind through it. But, uh, yeah, so because it's the first one, I'll just, uh, I'm just testing it out, seeing how we go. Hopefully I can make some more uh, interesting ones later on uh, when I get a few more different moulds. But I think that should do it for now. I'm just going to add a little bit of borax. Okay, just got a little bit of regular supermarket borax. I don't want much, I only want a, a little pinch. The thing with borax is, from what I've found, is you don't want to add too much borax to uh, some, a setup like this because borax will, will make it all expand and um, if you put too much um, your uh, copper or whatever you're putting in there and you're adding too much borax, it'll overflow. So that's all I wanna do, just a little bit. Again, it's, it's a trial and the borax is just to remove some of the impurities to bring it right up to, um, you know, to remove any any glue or lacquer or any other impurities and bring it right up to 999 copper, which is how I want to stack it. All right, I'm just going to turn this on, let it heat up. 
Okay, I'm just uh, setting this up now to temperature. Um, they recommend, in, instead of going right up to the temperature uh, on these electric ones, is to first bring it up in, into stages. So I want to get it uh, to 1160 in the end, but I'll start it off at 600. And once it uh, stabilizes at 600 degrees Celsius, then I'll bring it up another increment. I'll probably bring it straight up then to uh, 1160, how I want it. So it's going to take about, this one's a, a newer model and this version um, actually speeds up or heats up a lot quicker than the older version. Um, so it should only be 10 to 15 minutes and we should get this right up to temperature. Okay, well it's been melting for about, um, it got it up to temperature after about uh, 15 minutes and uh, it's been melting for about 10 minutes now. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, I had a look inside, it's, 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 uh, the copper's dropped down a little bit. So I'm going to add some more copper and uh, hopefully, because as I said, there's a lot of gaps in here. So, so uh, as it's melting, it's uh, creating more space for, for, to add a little bit more. And I just want to make sure I've got enough to fill the, mold that I've got so I'll just drop that bit in there and as you can see a bit of flame and that's because the actual the copper has a little bit of uh, impurities even though it's classed as Milbury copper it's still got a little bit of impurity, so it, it takes. It's going to take about five minutes for the smoke to go away, and then um, we're going to get back to clean, clean copper. So I'll keep going. Okay, well we're just about ready to pour. I reckon it's been uh, 30 minutes, so I'm just uh, heating up this little mold just so we don't get any little little explosions when we add the uh, molten metal so let's see if we can get ourselves a little copper uh, ingot okay Okay, well here we go, it's been just over 30 minutes, so I might as well turn it off now. And see how, how it ends up. Remember, it's the first time, so anything can go wrong. Just want to get the little pouring thing in in line wow look at that awesome eh so there we go Oh, bit of flux dropped out at the end, so that should be all the impurities. I'll just close that. Well, it doesn't look like a bad pour. Actually, I'm pretty happy with uh, how much I got. Uh, I'm glad I didn't put too much, but uh, hopefully we've got uh, maybe a pound and a half. We'll, we'll just check it out. I'll just let it cool down for a few minutes. And then I'll drop it into some water and we'll see how it goes. But uh, obviously I heated up the, the mould enough because there was no explosion or any sort of crackling or anything. It just poured nice and smoothly into it. I'm just hoping that it you know, comes out reasonably smooth so it's a good bar to keep. 
because um, I actually like this size. It's uh, like a, a large Kit Kat size. So I'm hoping this will, um, it'll turn out good. But that's super hot. And, uh, you know, obviously I've just turned off the power and everything. So that's still going to take a while. Um, I wouldn't want to add anything to it now. Um, and apparently to, to keep this, uh, to, la to make it last long, you don't want to um, do one melt straight after another. You want to let this cool down and uh, start again when it's really cold and do it like that. But uh, I don't plan to uh, make ingots all day. I just want to do, say, one, one a day whenever I've got some spare time because um, I'm just doing this for fun. It's not to uh, to sell the ingots or anything like that. I just want to have a little bit of fun, and uh, I've always wanted to melt my own bars. I can't wait till I get some silver done, maybe even some scrap gold. But uh, for now, all I want to do, I've got a lot of copper, and as you know, you can get free copper from old, old school televisions and uh, the old monitors. So... Um, there's uh, plenty of copper out there to um, get, and uh, yeah, um, to me this is real fun. So um, I hope uh, you have a bit of fun um, watching this and maybe uh, try it yourself. Uh, maybe invest in one of these furnaces. Uh, it's my first time, so um, as you can see, um, everything went pretty smoothly, and I don't think I made any mistakes. And certainly uh wow that's still super red hot i might just leave that open and let it uh, give it a chance to cool down a little bit more and this uh this bar okay oh i can't wait to uh, get it out cool it down and then uh, i'll polish it up and see what it looks like in the end it's going to be real cool see if i can pick it up I need some sort of better tool maybe with a really wide um, teeth or so I can uh, get a good grip on it because it's pretty heavy oh there we go wasn't too bad after all so I'll just put this this thing away over here. So as I said, I might uh, appear a little bit clumsy at the moment because it's you know I've got to get used to all this. But so far so good. We've got a hot copper bar. I'm going to drop her in. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> All right. I wonder if it's uh, cool enough to grab. As you can see, I'm pretty excited. So, oh, the water warmed up a bit. You could uh, almost make a cup of tea. Wow, let me turn the light on. Okay, well, it's I'm really uh, impressed with the, you know, with the size of the bar. It's to me it, that's almost perfect to hold in your hand. It's it's got a really nice weight to it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm just going to polish her up, but uh, I'm really impressed. Once uh, once I get the wire brush to it. And remove some of this blackness from the impurities we should get right down into the nice pure copper but I'm pretty pretty impressed with my first uh, pour that's that's a really nice bar it's poured well it doesn't have any cavities or you know craters like I see sometimes in in uh, bars uh, it's obviously we obviously got it to the really good pouring temperature uh, well I'm really impressed Oh, this is exciting. I can't wait. I'm going to do so many of these, right? These are these are grouse-sized 
bloody bars. I mean, oh wow, that's awesome. Really, really happy. Really happy with my little, um, what is it, a, a furnace? And, uh, oh wow. All right, I'm gonna go and start polishing this and we'll check it out how it looks in the end, eh? Okay, I just wanna take out the crucible again and just sort of tap out any, um, any of the shit. I mean, look how hot it is. It's been uh, probably nearly, nearly 10 minutes and it's still red hot. It's awesome. I just want to remove some of the stuff so I don't have any issues cleaning it, but nothing sticks to these graphite curisables anyway. I just want to see what I've got here. So all that powder stuff, that's from the graphite, from the crucible, and a bit of impurities. This looks like a, a little copper bead here. So I can put this back into my next melt. It's still got a, a few drops of copper. Maybe a little bit in this. Yeah, it looks like. So this was just what stuck to the crucible while I was pouring. But as you can see, it comes off. It doesn't stick to the crucible. It just sort of, uh, just sort of fell off. But uh, there are a few little balls here. And so, so all this bit of copper I can put back into the next melt. But yeah, I'm still super impressed with this bar for my first bar, wow. All right, let's get polishing, eh? Just got this little brush, it's just a cheap $4 brush from hardware store. Just put it on my normal drill. Oh, just better put on a little face mask, just because of the dust that's coming up off the, off the copper. Just to be safe. Look at that. Big difference, eh? Beautiful. Mirror finish. Okay, wow, look at that, hey? Got a bit of, uh, a little bit of roughness here that I can grind off if I want to. Um, it's nice and, you know, it's nice and smooth so you can stamp it if you wanted to, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I might just stamp them as uh, the weight. Might just put 999 copper, stamp the weight, Let's check out the uh, weight of it. Okay, let's see what this baby weighs. 
860 grams, which is uh, a little bit under two pounds. So one pound is 454 grams. So yeah, uh, and about an ounce under two pounds. How's that? 860 grams. I would have liked to get one kilo and but you know it's going to be impossible for me to make exactly one kilo but um that crucible uh, the this mold is a two kilo gold rated at two kilos of gold so um as you can see it fits 860 grams of copper if i had a bit more copper I probably would have gotten close to a kilo so a kilo which is 2.2 .2 pounds so but you know around two pound copper bar is um is pretty awesome for me I'm, I'm pretty happy with that you know you don't want much heavier than that otherwise you know they're really hard to um move around you know and I think these are going to stack really nice you know once I've got a whole bunch of them so but for the first one I'm super impressed I like really like the smoothness of of it there's no real you know mad craters or anything um, I suppose I could you could polish this down even further and uh, bring it really smooth but um, I kind of like the natural look of it it looks like a real bar and uh, yeah almost looks like gold but uh, no I'm happy with that that's that's about as pure copper as you can get because you've seen all the um, impurities that I took out of it and also the these little balls so the little pieces of copper left and a lot of these little balls okay so they cool down quickly after the the pour but uh, so I'll uh, definitely put these into the next batch so don't lose any copper really well that's it guys that's my first copper ingot e-waste bin special delivery well have fun keep scrapping and um, I'll catch you next time with something else to scrap or maybe some more paws all right guys I'll catch you next time have fun ciao